From feelings of fear and hopelessness to crippling isolation, postpartum depression is a dark reality for many new moms. Now there is a difference, however, between that and baby blues, and here to discuss is Dr. Samantha Meltzer Brody. Doctor, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me today. Nice to have you on. Very serious topic, one that, that needs to be discussed more often. So speaking of postpartum depression, um, what is it uh, that it, what impact does it have on not only the mother, but also the entire family? Yeah, no, postpartum depression is one of the most common complications of childbirth, affects you know, one in eight moms that give birth. It can have devastating complications for the mother that suffers with it, but it can also impair bonding and attachment with the baby, setting the baby up for long-term negative outcomes. And it's very disruptive for families. So it's very important women are screened so they can be appropriately treated. Some common symptoms of postpartum depression can include sadness, feeling down and blue or anxiety, feeling a woman may have r ruminating thoughts, may not be able to function the way she wants to, may not be able to sleep even when the baby's sleeping, and uh, most seriously having suicidal thoughts. And so that's obviously something that really requires someone talks to their doctor. Well, and that's when, I mean, that's a very serious case, obviously, when, when something like that is considered. But what's the difference between postpartum depression and baby blues, like I mentioned? Sure, so baby blues is considered normal emotional adjustment. Um, oh, most women that give birth will have a period of feeling more emotional, maybe a little more tearful. Um, it lasts two weeks or less, and it's really felt to be due to the physical and emotional demands of having a baby and the sleep deprivation. Postpartum depression is completely different. It is a major depressive disorder. It is not a woman's fault. It's not something she can just wish will go away. It is a depressive episode um, lasting longer than two weeks is much more severe. It interferes with functioning. Women with postpartum depression are really suffering. And that's why it's so important they get help. And how is it treated? So postpartum depression can be treated for more mild, moderate symptoms with psychotherapy, talk therapy. Um, for more moderate, severe symptoms, medications are commonly used. The SSRI antidepressants have been used for many years. Um, they may take four to six weeks to work and not all women respond. And so one thing I'm happy to talk about today is a new paper um, that we published in The Lancet last month um, talking about an investigational treatment called Brexanolone for postpartum depression. Very good, and is that part of the Hummingbird study or is that a separate entity entirely? No, it is part of the Hummingbird study. So the Hummingbird studies are a series of clinical trials that have um, examined, post, uh, examined Brexanolone in the treatment of postpartum depression. And what we found is that Brexanolone had a very um, robust and quick rapid onset of action. So women started seeing relief of symptoms within the first 24 hours. It is a 60 hour infusion, it's an IV infusion. Um, and the majority of women had a very positive response. And then they were followed in the hummingbird studies through 30 days after treatment. And um, all the women who had a positive response continued to maintain that positive response over the course of the follow-up. So it may be a very exciting new treatment tool. Um, the FDA is reviewing the data now and should make a decision by the end of the year. That is fascinating. There is hope for uh, this very devastating uh, you know, mental health issue. Doctor, thanks so much for this very important information. Like I said, it's, it's great that we're getting this conversation started. Oh, well, thanks for the opportunity to talk today. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Stay where you are. We'll be right back. <laughs>